This fall, Jaden Holly is headed to high school to join the Sulphur Springs Wildcats Athletics, and for the past two years, she's been a member of Texas Amateur Athletics Federation, or TAF, where she goes to state games in discus and shot put at the end of July. There's a fundraiser on Friday, July 19th for expenses to this state tournament. So let's meet Jaden Holly. She is here with us looking like she's wearing Olympic gold medals around her neck. And these are wins from a recent athletic uh, track event that you went to, Michelle Carter Camp. Yes, ma'am. Tell us a little bit about what is Michelle Carter Camp and what do you do there? It's like a camp where it's like track, like tips and things like that. And like they like you show them how you throw and like they have like self defense and like beauty workshops. Okay. And like girl talk and things like that. And like it's just something like to advance your skills a little bit more. Okay. And it's a prestigious thing because Michelle Carter is a Olympic winner, is that right? I'm not sure about her career, but I know that she has a very high profile. Well, Jaden Holly is uh, does not run track, but she does it in the throwing area. What is your sport? Shot put in discus. Okay, you got started in this when you were in the Mesquite School District. Is that right? Yes, sir. And you went to school there for a while. Yes, sir. And then how'd you end up here? My mom wanted us to move, and then we just came here. Okay. Well, Hopkins County is a pretty good place to be. Yes, ma'am. It just so happens for your sport, though, you came here in the spring, got into the school system here, and you didn't get to per perform very much. No, ma'am. What was the reason for that? The weather. It was <laughs> raining a lot. <laughs> We've had the rainiest spring, so you didn't really get to show your stuff too much, but you have made a mark for yourself already. I think bef just in the months before you moved to Sulphur Springs, you had gone to a district, uh, all the way to district in Mesquite. Yes, ma'am. So what did you do there? I went to district and shot put and discus, and I got second place. Okay, so shot put and discus, and second place there. So you come in with a second in uh, the district when you were seventh grader. Now you're going to be an eighth grader. No, no ma'am. Ninth grader, okay. <laughs> so you went to school all year here already? No, ma'am. Okay. Well, just start with your freshman year at Sulphur Springs <laughs> High School. Because <laughs> I don't know a lot about uh, Jaden's... Um, life so far. In fact, I've just met her this morning. But you are going to something pretty soon. Yes, ma'am. What is that going to be? State Games of Texas. State Games of Texas through an organization that you belong to. Garland Track Club. Okay. Is it called TAF? Oh, no. Texas Amateur Athletics Federation is like the people who put it all together. Okay, so that's yes, the federation. The club you belong to is in Garland. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you go there for coaching? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What what uh, do you do? Um, uh, what is your usual kind of schedule for going after that coaching? Um, we just go in, and then it's like you do your warm up throws, and then it usually ranges from like 30 to 35 throws like per practice, and then we run like three or four fifties, and then you go over to discus, and you have like 30 to 40 throws there, and it's just like a lot into one practice. What do you? What's the routine like to warm up to do these throws? Um, like your overheads, and then of course you have to stretch first. And then you do a little bit of running, like hills and things like that. And then you kind of just jump into all that. Okay. And you picture, you picture that you want to do this sport through high school. Yes, ma'am. And you have plans for college, but you eventually want to end up where? At the Olympics. I think that's a lovely, a lovely goal to set for. I really yes, do. Yes, ma'am. Who put that idea in your head? Just like. I put it in my head at first, and then, like, my family, like, my moms and all my aunts and uncles and cousins, they were just like, well, if that's something that you want to do, then you just keep working to it. I and love it. was just encouraging. So when you set your own goal, that's I think that's when people really do the best. It's good to do what others would like you to do, but yes, when it's for you. <laughs> That becomes the most successful. Well, I know you have athletic ability in your family, and I think there's one cousin 
there may be more, but one cousin whose name I picked up out of our conversation, and she did great in gymnastics. Yes, ma'am. My cousin, Crystalyn Preston. Yeah. She yes, was a pretty much of a medalist herself. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, so you're going into high school uh, in Sulphur Springs this year, and what sorts of studies do you particularly like? I like math and history and things like that. Okay. Sometimes science. And you'll be in athletics? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so I'm sure that our coaching staff knows that you're you're coming in. Yes, ma'am. Um, we hope that you'll take our Wildcats a long, long way. <laughs> yes, ma'am. In the track and field events. I want to find out, though, um, we talked about the Michelle Carter camp that you went to. And now you're going... Uh, you're going somewhere where we need to do a fundraiser. Yes, ma'am. What is that about? Um, I have to go to state, which is really expensive because it's a far drive and things like that. And I just need to be able to take care of myself, basically. Okay. So the state um, meet that you're going to is through the TAF organization or Texas Amateur Athletics Federation. Yes, ma'am. And it will be in where? Bryan College Station. Okay. Is it pretty soon? Yes, ma'am. It is next weekend. Okay, next weekend. The 25th through the 28th. Okay. No, this is the 29th. Okay. So, um, is the fundraiser already planned? Yes, ma'am. What is it and where is it? It'll be Friday. Like tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> At? At? It's on Beckham Street. What sort of fundraiser is it? What will 215 it be? Beckham Street. Okay. And it will be a chopped beef brisket potato fundraiser. Chopped beef brisket and and potato or, or, or baked potato? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And will they be able to come pick it up or maybe have it delivered? Yes, either or. Just like however you order. Okay. And there's probably a number to call or uh, a contact? Yes, okay. ma'am. I think your mother is Sonia Rush. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Well, she's right here, so she's going to fill me in on all those details of phone numbers and stuff. But your grandmother is also a listener to KSST and a, and a fan of ours. And yes, ma'am. Her name is Linda Rush. Yes, ma'am. She's a sweetheart. I see her at Brookshire's all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you come from a very supportive family, I think. Yes, ma'am. So tell tell me a little bit about that, about your, your family. They're very supportive. They all really love me a lot, which makes everything a lot easier. Um, my cousins are, like, very, very supportive. Like, they're, like, the best people in my life. Like, I can tell them anything. And, like, they just all make me, like, feel like I can do anything like they're supportive and they're just always there through everything that is good to hear because it helps when we have real solid family basis yes, especially when you're trying to go do something big I, and I see your t-shirt I'm not sure what it's from um, some kind of conference camp okay sports from, confidence camp yes sir. this was michelle carter's camp okay you throw girl <laughs> i like that yes ma'am. and show us those medals they're just a little bit better um, this one is my silver for my discus at regionals and this one wait no this one is my silver for my shot put at disc at regionals and this one is my gold for discus at regionals okay well, I would proudly wear them, too. And thank you for showing those to us. Well, so Friday, yes, um, the fundraiser is a brisket uh, sandwich or baked potato. Is that right, Sonia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Choppy brisket baked potatoes and a drink for a donation of $10 is being sponsored by David and Barbara Gordon. Uh, they're located at 315 East Beckham. Um, you can either stop by personally and pick up one. If you want delivery, um, you can call us at 214-938-1461. Okay, and we'll spread that word around and that um, phone number, too. And do our best to help you get to where you're heading. Yes, and ma'am. when you get to the Olympics, we're going to be so proud. <laughs> so we knew Jaden when she was just, well, how old are you? 14. 14 years old. And you are beautiful. Thank smart, you. dedicated, and driven. <laughs> and we're glad to get to know you. And thank you for sharing with us today. 
Thank you. We will look forward to a whole bunch of uh, news about you as you get into being one of our Sulphur Springs High School Wildcats, too. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Jaden, for coming in this morning. Thank you. And also, Sonia.